What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, as you probably saw in the title, I'm going to be fixing the rust on my 2000 Honda Civic. It's a really common spot for uh, this year of Civic to rust. So I'm not saying this is the right or perfect way to do it because it's definitely not, but it's going to stop the rust. It's not going to spread anymore and it won't be as noticeable. So let's hop right into it. So to get started, I'm going to be going everything that I'm going to be using. Y'all can use the same thing, but it's really up to you. First off, you're going to need some rust stopper or rust reformer, just something that stops the spreading of the rust. Then you're going to need your paint coat in a can, which is not cheap at all. I got this at Napa and it was $42. Once you got those two, you're going to need some kind of clear coat. This is Duplicolor uh, Acrylic Enamel Clear Coat. A lot of people will recommend 2K Clear, which I would probably use if I had it, but you can only use it a certain amount of times. So I'm just going with the cheap basic stuff. After all that, you're going to need some kind of tape to tape off the, the rust area. Then you're going to need some plastic to prevent overspray, and then some kind of razor or a knife to cut the plastic. So to get started, y'all might already know where it's at, but it's over here on the passenger side quarter panel, right down there. And I think it's also common on the driver's side, but I'm not too positive. I don't think I got any bad rust over on the drivers, but that's what it looks like. A little bit, but not too bad. So first step's gonna be, I'm gonna be using a wire brush to get the loose rust off. As expected, anytime you go into a, a job or a little project on a car, uh, it's always going to be worse than what you think. So I'll bring y'all down here. I pulled this little, this was holding in a lot of that. So I pulled this off a little bit and just pieces fell out everywhere. The rust has eaten through the metal. As you can see all the way right there. It's pretty bad. But I'm not uh, going all in and welding or putting bondo or anything like that and i'm just i'm just stopping it i don't really care if it's perfect the way it looks i just want to not spread any further now i'm gonna be hitting it with a couple different grades of sandpaper i'm just working with what we have here there's some 80 and then 180 i'm just going to be scuffing up around uh, to knock off all this loose paint so that the that the rust reformer and the paint will stick good
Now I'm just using a rag and some simple green diluted just to wipe the dust off and all the other junk. Now while I let that dry, I'm going to be hopping over to taping off with the plastic all around here just so that I don't get any overspray on it. Alright, all you need is just some plastic, some tape, and obviously you don't want to be doing this in the wind or else you're going to have much bigger problems. Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer instantly converts rust to a protected, paintable surface. It says that you need 24 hours for it to cure, but uh, I don't got 24 hours, so I'm going to give it like 20 minutes, let it dry and harden up a little bit, and then I'm going to hit it with the paint, but let's get this done. I actually am going to be doing two coats of this. When you look close at it, there's a few spots that are light and that I didn't hit good enough, so we'll go ahead and do the second coat. All right, so actually while I'm out here in the garage, I'm going to be uh, taking my license plate off because these bolts up here are extremely rusty, and I figure while I'm still out here, with all my paint and supplies laying out, I'll just go ahead and hit them with a little uh, rust preventer and solve that little problem. All right, so if y'all are curious, these two bolts are 10. Uh, if you can find one, then go ahead and take them off. That's if you can find one. Well, uh, 
That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. And I just snapped the bolt off. Huh. Interesting. All right, so jumping back over to the paint, right after I just snapped a bolt off my license plate, but uh, jump back over to this, I'm gonna be laying down the paint. The nozzle on this is either really stiff or just messed up. So I gotta hold it weird, but should work just fine. I'm gonna do a light coat, just like a tack coat, and then do a heavy coat or two heavy coats. Match is pretty good. All right, well, now I only have one bolt to spray, so. All right, now I only got one bolt to spray. Uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that other bolt, but might just have to tape down my license plate with some 3M double-sided, but I guess we'll figure it out when that comes along. There we go. Rust prevented. It's still a little tacky, so I'll probably give it a few minutes and then hit it again with some, with another layer of paint. All right, it should be dry enough now to hit it with a second coat. No run so far, so that's a good sign. And there's a fucking massive run. Yeah, oh well. All right, so I'm gonna hit it with one more coat of paint, just a light coat, just to uh, even it out and get the paint stage finished up. After this, I'll be putting some clear on. should be good. All right, so it's still a little tacky, but I think it's okay to lay down some clear, so I'm gonna do Duplicolor uh, Acrylic Enamel Clear Coat. And this stuff gets messy, so you kinda gotta be careful. All right, I've given it probably five minutes, so I'm gonna hit it with another coat of clear. I'll probably do one more coat and that'll be it. All right, final coat of clear and then I'll be done. All right guys, so here's the final result. I mean, obviously you can tell where it's been painted, but I'm not too worried about it. From a quick glance, you'll never notice that this has been done. It's just pretty much preventative, not even preventative, it's to stop what's already happened. But from back here, obviously you can tell. It stands out a lot more on camera than it actually does in person. But there's the, the tape line. The paint looks really good, it matches really nice. That's what everything looks like. Got some in the wheel well, but I, I don't, I'm not too worried. But that's pretty much it. I think I nicked down here with the sandpaper a little bit, which sucks, but oh well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I know my garage is a wreck, but I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm glad to finally have that done. There's definitely a few more spots in my car that I need to fix. Who knows, maybe I'll live stream it. 
If y'all drop down in the comments to let me know if y'all like to see that, I'll do it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I had some fun making it. Keep an eye out for the next video. But for now, that's it. I will catch you all later. Peace.